Honorable President of India, the visitor of Mizoram University, uh, Sri Drupadi Murmu, Honorable Governor of Mizoram and Chief Rector of Mizoram University, uh, Dr. Haribabu Kampanpati, uh, Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram, uh, Mr. Zoram Thanga, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Mizoram University, uh, Professor Kiare Savasimbara. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to have this interaction session with the women and girls students of Mizoram University. Mizoram University has conducted 16 convocations, today being the 17th, but since its inception, that is in 2200, uh, sorry, 2001. And this is the first time that such an interaction program uh, has been organized at a convocation program. Uh, this special program has been organized at the request of the Honorable President of India. Madam, we thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude and appreciation uh, for your insightfulness and concern for women and girl-child issues and the challenges and vulnerabilities faced by them, and taking up this initiative to have an interaction with the women faculty and girl students of Mizoram University and representatives of the self-help groups of Mizoram. This interaction is a milestone in the history of Mizoram University and for Mizoram for acknowledgement and recognition of women and girl child issues and challenges. We are expectant that this program would be the forerunner of many such, such programs that would bring to the forefront the need to urgently address the issues of gender equity and social justice for women. Gender disparity in job opportunities to compensate for women's historical and social disadvantages that prevent women uh, and men from otherwise operating on a level playing field. Madam, to help India achieve her UN Sustainable Development Goal of promoting gender equality, empowerment of women and addressing diverse needs of women requires enabling communities, enabling policies, and enabling programs of the government. To empower women in India to live with dignity so that they can contribute as valued partners in sustainable development of the selves, families, and the nation. Thank you very much, Madam, for this opportunity. I would now like to invite the Vice Chancellor uh, to invite the Honorable President to start to open the interaction program, sir. Good afternoon, Madam. So it's my great pleasure as a Vice Chancellor of this Mizoram University to request you for this uh, prestigious interaction with uh, girl students and self-help group uh, women and also faculty members, uh, women faculty members of our university. We, I now request you, Madam, to kindly interact with our uh, uh, people. Please introduce yourself one by one, first of all. I am Professor Zo M. Pari, Honorary Director of Women's Studies Center in Doha, and also the HOD, Head of Department, Department of Psychology, Department of Psychology Mizoram University. Thank you, ma'am. Respected Madam, good evening. My name is Dr. Seelil Fakzwali. I'm an assistant professor at the Department of Psychology. Thank you. Good evening, Madam. Uh, I am Lu Dr. Lucila Tlanzavi from Department of Psychology, Mizoram University. Thank you. Good evening, Madam. My name is Dr. Irene Rwadkimi. I'm the head of Department of Mass Communication. Thank you. Good evening, ma'am. I am Dr. V. Ratnamala, Faculty, Department of Mass Communication, Mizoram University. I am Dr. H. Elizabeth, Faculty, Department of Social Work, Mizoram University. 
Good evening, Madam President. My name is Anudha Lepcha, and I'm from Department of Library and Information Science. Thank you. Good evening, Madam President. Uh, my name is Rajeshwari Raj, and I'm a student of Department of Psychology, third semester, Mizoram University. Thank you. A very good evening, Madam President. My name is Nimhoi Kim Simte, and I'm from Department of Education. Good evening, madam. Uh, my name is Rupkana Bhattacharya, and I'm a fifth year student from the Department of Planning and Architecture. Good evening, madam president. My name is Glory Lalthan Puidarlo. I'm a research scholar from Education Department. Good evening, madam president. My name is Lelming Sangi Tautsong from the Department of Public Administration. Thank you. Respected Madam, good evening. I am Siding Pui Silo, and I'm a research scholar from the Department of Sociology. Thank you. Good evening, Madam. My name is Cindy Eflan Hezali from the Department of Public Administration. Thank you. Good evening, Madam. My name is Felicia Lerin Lendi, and I am from Mass Communication Department. Good evening, Madam. My name is Ruti Ming Zulnugi, and um, I'm a research scholar in department, the Department of Political Science. Good evening, madam. My name is F.C. Kupazarili, research scholar from uh, Geography and Resource Management. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Hulda Rizhao from the Department of English and Culture Studies. Good evening, madam president. My name is Pratima Mahata. I'm from BTEC Civil Engineering Department studying in fifth sem. Thank you. Good evening, Madam President. I am Judy Thiel Mingsangi from the Department of English and Culture Studies. Thank you. Good evening, ma'am. I am H. Lal Chandamir, Chief Executive Officer, Mizoram State Rural Livelihood Mission. My name is Lang Ming Tangi. As an RLM, my son, SSA, Z Group member. Thank you, Madam. Good morning, good morning, good, good evening, Madam. Marina Mon, Marina Monkumari, Monkumari, Mami District, <coughs> Kortase, Ayu, Zihawa Zira Group, Sehu. Thank you. Good evening, Madam. My name is Arvanel Zoli, Ramtiam SSG. Thank you. Good evening, madam. My name is Leron Tangi, project manager, Mizoram State Rural Livelihood Mission. Thank you. Good evening, madam president. I'm Zoran Tangi, Kongai Nasi Affair Group member. Good evening, madam. My name is Zong Mangaye, SACG, Kumtuang member. Thank you, thank you. I like to know from the student, you choose uh, Mizoram University. What do you love the most in Mizoram University? Um, what I could experience uh, in Mizoram University after coming from Delhi is that um, the environment in Mizoram University is really relaxed and it gives us an opportunity to explore our curiosity. There's no cutthroat competition or fast-paced life, which gives me the chance to, you know, look into what actually uh, interests, what are my actual interests and work on that. I don't need to run with everybody else to get ahead or do things like that. That is what I found most different here. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Next from the students, yes, what do you want to become? Sorry, ma'am. What do you want to become? In future? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, ma'am, I want to become, uh, I am heading into uh, becoming professor. I wish to become professor in future. Very good. Thank yes, ma'am. Thank you. Next, from this side. Who inspired you and why?
कौन आपको प्रेरणा दिए हैं यार वो रोल मॉडल रोल मॉडल कौन है कमिंग आई सांसों जो मानी के दिन ए इंटरवेल मिताई मा who who i really have as a role model is one who is self sufficient in life and who is able to be uh, standing on their own feet individually and developedly what are you what are the challenges you face in your life any challenges or in university uh, ma'am personally i have been in the university for the last 5 years and personally i haven't faced any issues as such challenges uh, for me i think uh, mizoram is a very kind place and here i've only thrived i've never faced any issues as such so far what can you do to make india better better country india ko acha aur bhi acha karne ke liye ab kya karna chahte ho kya chahna karna chahoge ma'am i'll uh, try to be best at my profession so that i can make india a great place to live in being a civil engineer student i'll try to be a very good civil engineer student So, uh, civil engineer i so that i can make india a proudest country in the world or next apna bataiye or next isi question pe uh yes ma'am according to me uh how can we make india's a better india is by providing uh equity to the required like not just to the person who have it will have it who don't need it to uplift it and have it so this is how we can also improve the lower to the upper and the upper also can have a sustain sustaination so this is how uh, when we have a gender equity in india uh, i believe it can also developed in so many things it may be education or even as a country as a whole thank you the faculty members i want to know in this question right and uh, madam uh, as uh, already said when i was giving the introduction we feel that as a women study center and also as women faculty of the university and also as a citizen of india uh, we know for a fact that there are many many gender inequalities as well as the traditional mindset and the traditional traditional setup of the patriarchy and the patriarchal issues that we face every day of our lives with regards to gender stereotyping with regards to job opportunities with regards to recruitment and with regards to so many other issues uh, say for example in a dual wage earning family because of the gender stereotyping both the husband and the wife are working but because of the gender stereotyping it is still the job the role of the woman even though she comes back from work at the same time as the spouse but she still has to do everything in the house so all those issues i'm not saying that's a bad thing but at the same time if there is more sharing of responsibilities etc etc and also in the field of as i said uh job opportunities and also in the area of skilled unskilled labor and opportunities for studies also uh in the patri uh, patriarchal and patrilineal environment uh usually preference is given to the male child for higher education if there are three children in the house and all of them have to go for further education higher education 
even if the girl child is the one who's brighter or who is excellent in studies, the preference is still given to the male child. So things like that are issues uh, that are faced on a day-to-day -day basis. It may not actually be at the policy level, but we need to make sure that all these issues taken together, one at a time, the small issues together, and then try to develop uh, a policy so that the women can be brought forward. We cannot just say, oh, women empowerment. We cannot just say, uh, let's uh, bring uh, gender equality to women as a, at the policy level. That's not enough. We have to start from the grassroots level and see what are the issues and the challenges, and then develop the policies uh, from there, there, so that the small steps brought together can be successful. It's like drops of water fill up the ocean. Thank you, madam. I was the university. Out of 64, 40s are the girls. The gold medal liye or jo or dusre jo bacche the o bhi out of 25 15 are the girls abhi ke paristhiti mein abhi ke paristhiti mein ab ab kuch kar sakte bartam abhi ke paristhiti mein aap kya kar sakte hain o to policy banega policy banna chahiye hona chahiye kyunki yahan 50 49% ya abhi to 50 50 ho gaya women se वो तो होगा लेकिन अभी बहुत सारे महिलाएं सिक्योर बॉर्डर पे काम करते हैं राफेल उड़ाते हैं रेसलिंग करते हैं ये कोई पॉलिसी बना नहीं खुद ब खुद यहां जो बच्चे अभी आज मैं एक गांव गई थी एक काउंसिल बना हुआ है विलेज काउंसिल out of 7,800 7, something, 51% are women. Women chalate hain. Koi policy bana nahi. So motto. Nahi, abhi ke paristhiti mein. O to policy banega, banna chahiye. Maybe apke sa so motto. Mohilaon ko, girls child on ko aage lena chahiye. Facilities dena chahiye. To abhi ka paristhiti le. Facilities diya nahi hai. Fear bhi bachche aage hai. अभी का परिस्थिति के विषय के विषय में मैं आपको पूछती हूँ अभी है ना कि बहुत सारे बच्चे खुद व खुद ये आईएएस आईपीएस बनते हैं आईएफएस बनते हैं आप आपके कोई पॉलिसी बनाने ये आप प्रोफेसर से है ना पॉलिसी था नहीं अभी का परिस्थिति में कब के लिए मैं पूछती हूँ ये तो बनने के बाद तो ओ तो कोई आपको रास्ता रोक नहीं सकता हो तो अपने आप हो जाएगा अभी के परिस्थिति ले ये इच्छा शक्ति भी होना चाहिए उइल पावर कि होना चाहिए आपका उइल पावर क्या है मेरा पूछने का मतलब है आपका उइल पावर आपका इच्छा क्या है अभी के परिस्थिति में वो तो बनने बनेगा तो बहुत अच्छा होगा मैं आप जो आपके साथ सहमत हूँ लेकिन फिर भी और जो पीछे रह गए हैं उनको आगे लाना चाहिए और जो उनको भी मौका मिलना चाहिए उनको भी हम आगे लाएंगे जो पीछे है जो एजुकेटेड नहीं है सोशियली इकोनॉमिकली और एजुकेशनली जो पीछे है उनको आना चाहिए अभी का परिस्थिति जो बच्चे अभी यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ रहे हैं उनके साथ मेरा मेरा इंट्रैक्शन हो रहा है कोई गाँव के लोगों के साथ मेरा इंट्रैक्शन नहीं हो रहा है इसीलिए मैं कहती हूँ कि अभी आप कोई आप अब में से कोई एयरफोर्स में जाना चाहेंगे Can you like to go? Do you like to go? Air Force, Navy? No? 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 एजुकेशन होने से वो दूसरे रास्ता खोल जाएगा वो बहुत अच्छा चीज़ है क्योंकि एजुकेशन होने से ही हम दूसरे जो हम रास्ता के लिए रास्ता मिल जाएगा हम लोगों को बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे लेकिन बच्चे बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग माइंडेड है और अभी ये आज तो मुझे यहाँ आइजल में हूँ काल में नागालैंड में थी और वहाँ भी ऐसे ही बच्चियाँ 
गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स बहुत आगे है जितने भी ये नॉर्थ ईस्ट में जितने भी स्टेट है मैं सभी स्टेट में और तीन स्टेट बाकी है तीन चार स्टेट सभी स्टेट में गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स आगे हैं वो अपने आप वो कहते हैं कि ये भाई हम से भी होगा हम भी कर सकते हैं हम में भी दम है हम से हम किसी से कम नहीं और ये आप जो मुझे बताए मैं आगे के लिए जरूर इस पे ध्यान दूंगी गवर्नमेंट के साथ बातें करूंगी लेकिन बिना पॉलिसी में भी हम आगे जा सकते हैं पेरेंट्स आस्ते आस्ते उनके माइंडसेट को चेंज कर रहे हैं डू यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हैं ओ थोड़ा थोड़ा अच्छा ये ट्रांसलेटर कोई होना चाहिए <laughs> ตุนาซันมิซอรามากันอ่าเฮมิซอรามาโลเคลาคอนโวเคชั่นอาจซันเฮ 60 तुना नो तीस हे कन प्रेसिडेंट मैडम सु सदान ही नो तीस स्टेट पली वे सो लेंग तो मासे पथुम वे सो बांग वेथा हुआ मासे नो तीस अच्छा मेछा सौ सौ ते एन हाउते सो अन महा वेथा तुना विलेज काउंसिलर अकल हाउते विलेज काउंसिलर अकला रम मुन पखा था खान सो दापो फिफ्टी वन परसेंट वुमेन इन अन थोक वेथा हुआ पॉलिसी ने लाउ चूंग चूंग इन हे तुना पॉलिसी नहीं खेल ना लाओ कन प्रेसिडेंट टी डांसो पॉलिसी नहीं लाओ पॉइंट हे आ कन माँ बैठा हो कन ओ अलग कलाओं में आप बिजनेस करना चाहेंगे कौन कौन बिजनेस करना चाहते हैं बिजनेस नो तुम्हें बिजनेस अंसा बिजनेस आकर तुम नहीं कोई नहीं स्टार्टअप के अच्छा स्टार्टअप के बारे में जानते हैं आप क्यों बिजनेस करना चाहते हैं बताइए क्योंकि मैम मैं एक साइकोलॉजिस्ट बनना चाहती हूँ और साइकोलॉजिस्ट का आजकल प्राइवेट प्रैक्टिस एक उनका प्रोफेशन का मेजर पार्ट होता है तो उसके लिए हमको ऑन्टरप्रेन्योरशिप भी पता होना चाहिए कैसे करना है क्या करना है वेरी गुड तो इसीलिए क्योंकि ये अभी हम आगे बढ़ना चाहते हैं हम 50 परसेंट से 60 परसेंट महिलाएँ आएंगे सभी को गवर्नमेंट सर्विस नहीं मिलेगा हमको बिजनेस भी करना पड़ेगा तो अभी से हमको सीखना चाहिए कि नहीं स्टार्टअप के बारे में आपको पता है स्टार्टअप मैम सिंस आई एम फ्रॉम द स्टेट रूरल लाइवलीहुड मिशन आर एस एच मेंबर्स आर एंगेज इन ए नंबर ऑफ बिजनेस फ्रॉम द बैंक लोन दैट दे हैव अवेल्ड एंड ऑल्सो फ्राम द लोन्स दैट दे हैव अवेल्ड through PMAGP as well as uh, other government of India schemes. So uh, I just like to ask uh, one of my SAG members to share her experience. Coming to our panel, Zwali and Ia, Re'e Kwa Kani, SAG Kazo Mahatwan in in other words, we have to say that we have to have to say that we have to have to say that in the restaurant and homestay, we have to have to say that we have to have to say that we have to have to say that. Ma'am, she is, as I've said, a self-help group member from Mami District, Aspirational District. Before she joined NRLM, SHG member, she was running a small uh, business and uh, uh, they have to depend on the income of her father-in-law. 
But since uh, joining SHG, she has uh, availed Bangalore as well as Community Investment Fund from NRLM scheme. Now she is running a profitable uh, homestay as well as restaurant business. And her earnings uh, before she joined SHG was was uh, 7,000, but now her uh, monthly income is around 70,000. Oh, please, please give them. Give him a big hand. Uh, uh, members say? How many members in your group? Can group of members, Pariyat Kanom. Eight members. Acha, Unka income Kedrahe? Members ka? Member. Tu na chuan in thakata nuai khat la lu te kan om toa. A trade in 5,000 te. 5,000, very good. Their earnings, average earnings are around 1 lakh, 50,000 to 1 lakh. Mijaram, ये जितने भी North East state, ये पूरा bio diversity में पूरा भरा हुआ है, पेड़ पौधा भरा भरा हुआ है, और इसको आप बहुत अच्छी तरह से आपको संरक्षण करके रखते हों, और bio diversity को और भी बढ़ाने के लिए इस eco friendly system को और और भी बढ़ाने के लिए आप और क्या करना चाहोगे? Good evening, Madam President. Uh, I actually come from the Department of Architecture, so I would like to answer this architecturally. Yeah. So we have, in our course, we learn the concept of sustainability. Yeah. So uh, as a student of Mizoram, I can say that, you know, uh, the forests or the greenery can be easily in improved architecturally by not using uh, very unsustainable materials. For example, India has been famous for using mud and rammed earth and as a material, which is as it, it actually comes from the earth and it goes back to the earth. So using such natural materials and not cutting down trees, not uh, embracing deforestation can also be one of the ways of improving the biodiversity and also protecting whatever is necessary. ठीक है ऐसे तो बहुत सारी चीजें हैं आप में बहुत ज्ञान है सभी विषय के बारे में आपका बहुत ज्ञान है उसको आप शेयर करते हो शेयर कर सकते हैं और बढ़ा सकते हैं और सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप बहुत अच्छा काम करते हैं सभी आप जो करते हैं ना उसको आप शेयर कर सकते हैं यहां तो गवर्नर है और चीफ मिनिस्टर यहां बैठे हैं और ये तो सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप को बहुत हेल्प करते हैं जो भी प्रॉब्लम हो है उनके साथ आप शेयर कर सकते हैं और और दूसरे जो है जो सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप बनाए हैं लेकिन इतना प्रॉफिट नहीं कर पा रहे हैं और उनमें क्या प्रॉब्लम है आप उनसे उनके पास जा सकते हैं क्योंकि कुछ चीजें कुछ रिस्पांसिबिलिटी भी लेना चाहिए क्योंकि दूसरों को मदद करने की भी कोई कोई क्वालिटी होना चाहिए हम लोगों में कि नहीं क्योंकि आप जो करते हैं दूसरों को भी हेल्प कीजिए वो भी थोड़ा प्रॉफिट करें और भी अपने बच्चों का शिक्षा उनका आगे जाने का रास्ता भी क्लियर हो जाएगा जो वो थोड़ा थोड़ा प्रॉफिटेबल उपार्जन करेंगे तो है ना इकोनॉमिकली वो भी थोड़ा साउंड होंगे तो वो भी आगे का रास्ता वो पाएंगे है ना थैंक यू थैंक यू बहुत अच्छा लगा थैंक यू थैंक यू Thank you very much, Madam. Uh, I just wanted to say one particular point which you asked, Madam, that is not known to other people. One of the startup of Mizoram Girl has been won uh, All India number one prize as uh, and, uh, entre uh, youngest entrepreneur, woman entrepreneur in the All India first prize, Madam. And she has started a meat industry in Mizoram and it is spreading to whole Northeast as one of the best startup in the country, Madam. So there are uh, women has a very good role in uh, Mizoram, particularly in business, uh, and they are involved in all the business activities, and uh, they are actually playing a major role in business of uh, Mizoram. Madam, actually, women has a major responsibility in running the family system, and they play a very important role in Mizoram. Thank you very much, Honorable President, and we are very much grateful for your kind interaction. Thank you.